Okay, so this is Alma Linux on a Raspberry Pi 5. And I've been asked to look at this operating system twice now. So once by Tom Termchenbauer and once by Florian in my emails. Let's have a look at it. Alma Linux is the password. And it uses the GNOME or GNOME desktop. So it looks very much like Ubuntu. And you can see they're using a very nice wallpaper. We've got an activities tab here, which basically just opens this up and lets you switch between the multiple desktops. If I start opening a few things, so Firefox, press the Windows key, Files, press the Windows key, the software store, help, and terminal, you'll see that it's opened up a load of tabs. If I go to the top left, you can see all of your apps and you can very quickly switch between them, which also works with KDE Plasma, but I just think it's a really nice touch. If you've got a crowded desktop like this, just go up to the top and you can switch. So if I want to go into the software store, in fact, the software store is a weird one. If I go full screen, so window snapping allows me to pull it to the top and you can see all of these apps. But it seems to be that this is all that's there. So if I do a search for, say for instance, Chromium, because Chromium tends to work better on a Raspberry Pi, it just isn't there. And uh, one of my favorite Linux games, Xmoto, just isn't there. So. They've given you a software store, but they've definitely just given you a small amount of programs that you can download. So we've got CMake here, Connections View and Use Other Desktops. So I guess it's pre-approved things that they've gone for. Some of these you can see are already installed, so Firefox and Files, Document Viewer and so on. But it's also super easy if you want something like LibreOffice Writer, you just click on it and click Install. So I can't install the software with the normal password that's there. I wonder why it's locked down in that way. I'm not used to that with the, most of the Linux operating systems that I use. You just logged in and you can use it. So we better have a look at Firefox. Uh, and we've got documentation here. You can see all these tabs, blog, bug tracker, GitHub, and Alma Linux. Let's try putting password in here. Okay, so it looks like I'm not the only one to have this issue. It's seven months ago, fresh install of Alma Linux 9, only one user account, Alma Linux, but when I'm trying to add a new user account, it prompts me for the password for administrator. The default password for Alma Linux doesn't work, and I don't see any other default admin passwords. And then it's saying there shouldn't be a default password, but this is, uh, rather than the image you make yourself, this is the image that you download, and I'll show that a bit later on. Oh, there are more replies here. Uh, and it says here, you know what, I bet it's a GNOME issue. Try running this command to add that account to the wheel group where GNOME can see it. So let's copy that and go to terminal and paste that in. Okay, is it gonna work straight away or do you think I need a restart? Let's give it a go. So back to that discover store, which is here and install. It looks like it's doing it already. So good shout from Slime City King, that's, that looks like that's worked. Comes with this rather nice lock screen, I was just editing some of the video uh, and it timed out. So let's see if that's installed. Yeah, it has installed because it says uninstall here. So if we go to all apps, it's not there. Why would it not be there? Let's try writer. So text editor, LibreOffice writer comes up there, okay. Ordinarily, I, don't, I just expect it to be there. Yeah, I definitely can't see it there. Okay, I'm gonna restart it anyway, just in case. But you don't usually have to do that when uh, installing an app. Okay, we'll try again. No, writer's definitely not there. And if I go to software and installed. Okay, it shows up there, but it doesn't load it. Unknown source. Okay, I don't understand that. So let's have a look a bit more about this OS. So if I go to Firefox, so from DistroWatch, based on Fedora Red Hat from the USA. So you can see various different architectures here. So Arch64 is the Pi. It uses GNOME, KDE Plasma, Mate, and XFCE. So this is the GNOME or GNOME version. So let's try installing the Chromium browser uh, so I would usually use sudo apt install chromium, 
but this is Fedora, so we need to use DNF instead of apt. And it would define Chromium. Let's try NeoFetch. Oh dear. There is a newer version called FastFetch. No, unable to find. So why is it not finding anything? Definitely says the default package manager for Alma Linux is DNF. Okay, so they're kind of talking about using Flatpak instead. So let's try from their website. They have the Alma Linux symbol here. Let's try that. Flatpak is installed by default on Alma Linux 8 and newer when using GNOME. To get started, all you need to do is enable FlatHub. Just download the FlatHub repository file. So let's install it. Open with software install. Okay, here it is. So install, pop the password in. So do we get it as an app now? No. <laughs> but there is another way of doing flat packs. So we go to FlatHub and search for Chromium. And we can do this install with Flatpak install FlatHub. So let's go back to terminal. Yes. Proceed with these changes, yes. Let's see if NeoFetch is on here while it's doing that. No, maybe FastFetch is. No. Now we've got FlatHub installed, there is the possibility of installing lots of other things on here, lots of emulators and so on. Right, how's that getting on? Installing 5 of 8, still going. Okay, took a while but it's there now. So let's see if Chromium's now shows up. It does. There we go, successful installation. And if we try a bit of YouTube. Let's try one of my videos in 4K. That looks like it's playing okay. Let's go, so my monitor's a 1080 monitor. Let's change the resolution. Oh, where is the resolution? Settings. Okay, let's change it to 4K and see what happens. Definitely struggling with 4K, which is pretty much what we're used to on the Pi. Uh, but if we drop back down to 1080 or 1440, we can give it a try. Uh, looks like it's not doing too bad on that. So stats for nerds. Let's see how many frames we're dropping. Dropped a big lot of frames then, all of a sudden. Let's see if it stabilizes though. It's dropping the occasional frame. Oh, and in fact, it's... Yeah, it's still dropping frames. So let's try the same on Firefox because that's the one that comes pre-installed. So 1440 again, and stats for nerds. Oh, I can see it's already not working. Doesn't look too bad, but it is consistently dropping some frames. Yeah, I'd say that's watchable though. I don't think I'd notice if I wasn't watching the frame counter. And if we just pause that and let's just try the web browser. So Hot UK Deals. This is running from an SD card at the moment, an official Raspberry Pi SD card. So it would be faster from an NVMe. BBC Sport. Yeah, that's working fine. And the scrolling seems to be okay as well. I am definitely more used to Debian base, so I'm used to sudo apt install. I really love KDE as a desktop environment, although 
GNOME is, is really nice uh, and, and very logical, very easy to use. Things like window snapping works very well. Multiple desktops like this, you can see, works nicely. If you want to try this out yourself, on the Alma Linux page, just click on Downloads. And then we're looking for architecture here, so ARM64. You can see there's so much support for various different boards and uh, computers and things like that. It is really, really well supported. So Raspberry Pi version, and uh, yeah, I'm using Alma Linux OS 9.5 at the moment. And you can see there's a wiki page here. Lots of information. It is very informative. And uh, if you have a look at this, there is the Pi 5, the Pi 4B, Pi 400, Pi 3B and A. So what I did was download that latest version and then use Raspberry Pi Imager to install it. And it works straight away. But I haven't had the smoothest experience in installing apps. The operating system, however, does seem to work very well and looks very nice. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.